Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Joshita, a first year med student of Coimbatore Medical College. This week's video is going to be a little sit down talking about my knee journey. So let's dive right in. This video is going to have four parts. One, before the exam. Two, the day of the exam. Three, after the exam. And four, what college life is like. Part one, before the exams. 2019 rolled around. I entered ninth grade and it was going pretty good. I had joined in Akash coaching for NTSE. I wasn't pretty serious about these competitive exams or anything. So December of 2019, COVID hit. And by the time we finished our ninth final exams, we had lockdown. 10th grade went completely online. So the classes were online, the tests were online, and our boards were a big question mark. So 2021 rolled around and they just announced our boards got canceled. By this time, I was actually seriously preparing for NTSC and I was able to crack stage one. And as COVID hit, the stage two exams got postponed by like six months, by which time we were already in 11th grade. So you know how that went. I slacked completely in 11th with full of online classes. And I just stopped studying because you were at home, you were having fun. I don't know, it was just a really bad time. And 12th started and they started offline classes again. It was pretty hard because for the past two years, we were at home staring at this computer from morning till evening, even during tests. So online classes felt really new to me, to be honest. And we entered 12th grade and offline classes started. I had school from eight to four and I had coaching from five to eight. So I was pretty much not at home except for sleeping. And I tried to get most of my studying done in classes. So I just come home and rest most of the time. And that's how my entire 12th grade went. And by the time we started running over boards and board exams, my scores at coaching really dropped. Like, I was really scared that I wasn't going to get a seat in a medical college. And fast forward after boards, we had, I think, around 50 days. And I tried my best to give at least two exams per day so that I was more familiar with the questions and the time management and like how to approach the paper because that's what I felt was hindering me from getting a good score. I could never forget this day, 7th May 2023, the day of NEAT exam and I was so anxious because Two years of hard work was going to be judged in just three hours. Like whatever hard work you put in for the past two years, it doesn't matter because these three hours is all that is going to decide your entire future. I went inside the exam center around 11.30 and the exam started at 2. So I just slept in the exam hall to be very honest because I was so anxious. Just looking around didn't help in any way so i just slept in the exam hall for like one hour that nap of one hour was pretty useful to me it just calmed me i stopped overthinking because if i spoiled my mood i knew i wouldn't do the exam pretty good so those three hours went like that it was pretty fast and i didn't even know that i was five and we had to come out so i came out of the exam hall uh, I reached home at around 8 o'clock because my exam center was pretty far away from where I lived. So I came home and I literally downloaded all of the answer keys from all of the coaching centers. I checked my paper. Those few hours were even more anxious than the actual exam because I'm going to know my score and this is going to decide the rest of my life. It was pretty scary. My predicted score was around 625 to 640 because there were a lot of changes between each coaching's answer key. And fast forward, I think one month later, we got our results and the website crashed. It was the worst thing ever. Like I was sweating. I was like really anxious. And finally, when I saw my score, 
it was 640. I was pretty happy with it, but then I saw my All India rank. It was 9989. The rank inflation was high. Like it was so high from last year. I think around 2000 ranks far behind. I dropped all the hope I had. I thought I wasn't going to get a college in my state because the rank was pretty high. And it was just a really scary time. And counseling time rolled around. I had a list of colleges ranked one, two, three, four in the order I wanted to fill them in uh, in my choices. And the first place was Madras Medical College. And the second place was Government uh, Coimbatore Medical College. Um, I applied for these two. I got Coimbatore Medical College in the first uh, counseling round. And I just stuck with it because it's where I live. I could be a day scholar, the comfort of home. That's all I thought about because I was really excited to move out. But when actually the time hit, I was pretty scared because going to another place and living by yourself is something very new. And I just decided Coimbatore would be the best pick for me. And it was one of the best decisions I have ever made. I was very excited to be a day scholar to college. And I cannot believe that I'm standing where my 16 year old self was dreaming of. It's really a dream come true. And I am really thankful to everyone who supported me in these tough times. So about the college life, college started on September 1. Up until now, and hopefully for the next five and a half years, my college life will be just as fun. And I hope I will be able to document all of that and post it on YouTube for all of y'all to see.